All right, before I start this video, I'm gonna say first and foremost, I'm not an electrician, I'm not a professional AC guy, and I'm just messing around with a generator in my backyard. Please don't do this unless you know what you're doing. Uh, don't mess with, around with your electrical system or even the current coming off a, a generator. Any of that can zap you and potentially kill you. So uh, just take that as a warning before you watch this video. Thanks. Welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I'd talk about our truck camper. Uh, we use it to pull the Jeep and sometimes we like to take it to spots where there is not electricity. So something that we recently purchased is this. So we just bought this little generator. It's one of the little suitcase ones um, from Menards. It says it'll do 2000 watts. Um, I did check my air conditioner uh, already and at peak it was like about 1875. So in theory it should run it. Um, but it doesn't and I'm going to show you what it does Okay, so it's up and running Okay, so you can hear the little generator outside running and so I know that if I switch it over to fan It runs the fan no problem Even on high runs it no problem okay so now we'll go to low cool you can hear the little generator but it just didn't have enough oomph and it probably just tripped it out you could see in the other video the little red light came on which means that it was drawing too much and it bogged the engine down shut itself off so what I have got we're gonna try is one of these soft start starter packs um, there's lots of videos online these are super cheap on Amazon like $14 I figured it's worth a try. If not, I'm gonna to have to go up to a bigger generator, which I wanted that small size one because it's easy to carry around. It's easy to stick in the back of the camper. So let's go ahead and install this and see if it makes a difference. few screws out that hold this little cover when you remove that you can see your wiring diagram right here so here's our little box All right. just pop that out be extremely careful with these connections you guys you do not want to get shocked by this thing not even remotely <laughs> So here is our little unit that we're going to be putting in. Hopefully there's enough wire on it to make that happen. We'll see. I think it might be able to, but boy, it's going to be, it's going to be close. So this unit has this, which is a PTC, and this is a PSC. So I'm going to swap this one out. So we're just going to take it out. I'm going to use the red wire, I think. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to leave it right in because I don't need to remove it. So we're going to take that. We'll take this wire connector, hook these two together. I will tape that up and then we'll take it down into this one. There it is. And we'll hook it up as well. Okay. So that should be it. Like I say, I'll tape that up. Let's go see if it runs. Let's see if it works. It is up and running. So let's go ahead and turn the temperature down, kick the compressor on. Okay, I could hear the generator outside ramp up. It did kick it on, and it is running. So it did almost stall it out, 
but it's blowing nice cold air right now. So I'm gonna dial it up a little higher. So everything's running and now we're gonna take it to high cool. And it went to high cool without any problem at all. It is blowing good cold air out. So I guess short term, I'm gonna say it was a success. Okay, so I've been letting it sit here running for a little while. I have it on high at the max cold and it just revved up a second ago and it actually kicked it. All right, so long term, I don't think this is the solution. I think the little uh, generator is just a little bit too small for the AC. I don't wanna wreck anything. I'm gonna put everything back on the AC the way that it was and look into a bigger generator so if you're thinking that you're going to uh, save a little money or something like that i just just did it and it didn't work so i was hopeful it did run for a little while but uh, once the compressor gets all the way up to pressure and then cycles out and then comes back up to turn on that's when it seemed like it kicked out so it was a good try it was a cheap test to try like i say they were very reasonable on amazon um, but in the end, this one didn't work.